Hey YouTube, you know why we here. Trellis time for cucumbers. All right, so what I'm gonna use today is I'm gonna use the uh, shelving that you have in your closet. Yes, that's what we doing. All right, now last year I used the uh, wooden stakes on either side. This year I am gonna do that, but I'm gonna try something different just this uh, one time, but I'm gonna do that with my other trellises. So you just have to be mindful that since this is wood, after it's been in the uh, ground, it's going to uh, break up over time. So I don't use treated treated lumber. If you want to go that route, that's up to you. But um, I'm not going to do that. Move that out the way. All right, so I'm using rebar for the first time. So I already have it marked out for me. And I have a cinder block that I'm going to use the whole this uh, shelving until I can uh, tie it down. All right, so let me go ahead and get this one in. And I'm gonna try to get it in about uh, two two feet down. And I have my little pole driver. We got cinder block. All right, that's about the right level. And then I'm gonna take. The uh, trellis piece and line it up just like that. And now I'm gonna use these uh, zip ties. That the, the uh, zip ties are the ones that can withstand being outside. So you may want to think about using that so your trellis does not fall down with all your uh, vegetables and fruits on it. That would be that wouldn't be good. So I'm gonna leave this on pretty tight. All right, let me get the one at the bottom to uh, secure it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna zip tie a lot of these together because I don't want my fruit to be hanging on the ground. And after I finish this. I'm gonna give you four reasons why you should think about using the trellis. Four quick reasons. And hopefully, you'll use this uh, trellis idea, or you may have a trellis that uh, idea that you uh, already know of. Oh, and I got this uh, trellis idea from the Rustic Garden with Gary. I have been doing this for a couple couple years now but this is the first time I'm using the the rebar I just want to see if it's sturdy or not and if not then I'll just stick with the uh, wooden stakes and I kind of wanted something that I wouldn't have to keep buying over and over and over with the uh, wood breaking down but I will if I have to And the other thing that I'm going to do once the uh, cucumbers start growing, once they reach the uh, tallest level, I can train them to come back down the trellis. But another thing that's going to happen is I'm going to uh, make another trellis, the same type trellis, maybe 10 inches to a foot apart. So once I train it up and down, then I have it rotating to the uh, other trellis that will be about 10 inches away and then it'll travel up the trellis and I can have them going back and forth. So that's just another tip that you may want to uh, to use. All right, I'm gonna do one more zip tie and then if you don't feel comfortable just with the zip ties, you can come back and use some uh, metal wire and then tie it down for uh, extra precautions to keep your mind at ease to make sure that your uh, vegetable or your uh, fruits don't go uh, flying, falling down. All right, so that is my trellis. And all I have to do now is move 
the cinder block, which I use to help me. If you don't have anybody to help you, you may want to use a cinder block, or if you don't want it that high, you can use a brick. And if you think that's too high, and you're trying to figure out, well, how will I train my uh, cucumbers up? You could put a bamboo stake down in the center and train it up that until it attaches. So you could actually have this trellis, you know, a foot off the ground, two feet off the ground, however you, however high you want it. All right, so now the uh, four reasons why you should think about having this trellis or a, tr a trellis in general is number one, you keep your vegetables and fruits off the ground. All right, so that's gonna help with uh, pests eating your uh, fruits. Cause I, I, last time I had some of my uh, cucumbers on the ground and slugs came by and they ate the skin off of it. But I'll show you how to deal with that in another video. Um, the next reason is if you don't have that much space, you know the cucumbers are gonna spread out all over the place. If you wanna plant other things right here, like I got uh, strawberry plants right in front of me. I have a watermelon plant to the left of me. So if I don't want everything sprawling out everywhere, I'm gonna use a trellis to save space. All right, the next, the next thing, when you're growing your uh, cucumbers, it's easy to pick your cucumbers. If you got a bad back, you can just stand up pull your cucumbers off and you don't have to worry about it. And the last reason that, that I, I like is that it looks amazing. Having your fruit just uh, travel up a trellis, whether it's a trellis like this or a cattle panel tre trellis, which I've done the video. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out because we should have watermelons hanging down from it. But that's the other thing. I like to make a statement with my garden as well as provide the uh, fruits with safety off the ground and saving space. So those are the reasons why you should think about having a trellis in your garden. And this is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel and have a great day. Bye.